Here's what people are, are talking about. Some uh, big political news today. President Trump went on Twitter and announced that he is banning transgender people from serving in the military. Trump said he understands this is a very sensitive issue, so he made sure to choose his emojis very carefully. Uh, <laughs> actually, Trump says that he's banning transgender people from serving because of high medical costs. If he cares so much about high medical costs, maybe he should pass a health care bill. Just come on, what is he? If he cares so much. <laughs> And Trump was talking to reporters yesterday after the big health care vote, and people noticed that he didn't seem to know how many senators there are. <laughs> when told it's two for each state, Trump said, I'm going to need another clue. <laughs> Fifteen? <laughs> of course, another big story is Trump's feud with Attorney General Jeff Sessions. And when he was asked what will happen to Sessions, Trump said, time will tell. When asked if he was just stealing lines from his magic eight ball, Trump said, ask again later. <laughs> and you go, wait, this is all. Yeah. Meanwhile, the State Department says Secretary of State Rex Tillerson is, quote, taking a little time off. Wow, Tillerson, Spicer, maybe Sessions. You know things are bad when the White House is losing more characters than Game of Thrones. You go, this is, <laughs> this is a lot of people. And Trump held a big rally in Ohio last night, and I saw that he rubbed Melania's back while she was introducing him. It was the first time someone has ever shivered in 80-degree weather. It is just... <laughs> it kind of warms it. That's right, Trump gave a speech in Youngstown, Ohio, and everyone is talking about a pretty big comparison that he made. Take a look at this. With the exception of the late, great Abraham Lincoln, I can be more presidential than any president that's ever held this office. That I can tell you. <laughs> uh, then he said, I won't be, but I can. <laughs> <What? laughs> After watching Trump's speech, CNN's Anna Navarro made a pretty interesting comparison of her own. Watch this. Guys, I I've never done hallucinogenic mushrooms, but when I watch one of these Trump rally speeches, I feel, okay, this is what it must be like to be high on hallucinogenic mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. When Wolf Blitzer heard that, he was like, just tell me what you need and how much. Uh, and you go, wait, what did you do? And Trump's new communications director, Anthony Scaramucci, addressed all the leaks that have been coming out and asked staffers, you want to sell postcards to the tourists, or you want to work in the West Wing? And the staffer said, wait, is that postcard thing a real option? Or... <laughs> well, I, I love postcards. But as I mentioned earlier, Trump has decided to ban transgender people from serving in the military. It's very controversial. So here to address this issue is tonight's show correspondent, Patty Harrison. Patty, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Now, Jimmy, I'm a transgender woman, and as a trans person, it's hard to articulate exactly how I feel. But I guess if I had to describe it, I'd say, Donald, you're so stupid. You are so stupid. You're lucky you're so hot. Wait a second, no, no. <laughs> Lucky you're so hot. Patty, when did you first hear about Trump's decision? Well, when I saw the headline this morning, at first I just read, Donald Trump bans transgender people. And I was like, yeah, that sounds like him. <laughs> but then I realized it was just in the military, and I was shocked because I assumed he already did that. <laughs> now, I don't necessarily want to serve in the military, but I want the right to serve. You know, it's like, I don't want to go to your baby shower, but I want the invite. <laughs> But, you know, I don't even think Trump knows what transgender means. He probably thinks transgender people are those cars that turn into robots. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. It might be, might be so. Uh, Patty, before you go, do you have any final thoughts about all this? Well, first, I want to say that there are amazingly brave trans people who should be allowed to serve, like Kristen Beck, a retired Navy SEAL with a Purple Heart, Bronze Star, and countless service <laughs> Yeah.
And yet Trump says transgender people in the military would be a tremendous disruption. And I get it. If you constantly draw attention to yourself, spend all day distracting everyone, and cost taxpayers millions of dollars, the perfect job for you isn't the military, it's the President of the United States. Thank you very much. Patty Harrison, everybody. Thank you, Patty. You're lucky you're hot. That's a, yeah, yeah. Uh, here's a local story, you guys, here. The MTA wants to improve the subway here in New York by removing seats from trains to fit more people. <laughs> and after that, they're going to ask riders to lie down and spoon each other so they can pack <laughs> even more inside. Like, this, I'll be the inner spoon. That's right, the MTA wants to remove seats from trains to fit more people. Even worse, Southwest Airlines heard that and said, that's a great idea. Can we do that? And they go, no, we can't do that on the plane. And finally, I saw that a woman in Texas bought a $300 vacuum from Target, but got home and realized the box contained dirty towels, rocks, and a can of chili. <laughs> or as that's known over at Walmart, a gift basket. There you guys go. We have a great show tonight. Give it up. And on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.